Hi everyone, welcome back to Average Joe's. If you're new here, I'm Jessie, and today I'm going to be talking about the 10 backlist books that I want to read in 2021. Now, these are all from my shelf. I've had them for a while. They have been on my Goodreads for the longest time. These are the books that I will be reading, hopefully, this year. And I only picked 10 because I can only read about five books a month. And let's just get into the list. The first book is Save the Date by Morgan Matson. Now, I've read a Morgan Matson before. This would be the second or third one that I've read. This was the book that, one of the first books that I found, discovered when I first discovered YouTube. This is about a girl who I believe her sister is getting married and it's just the weekend that, and everything and anything is gonna go wrong. And I know that certain people have had issues with that. I'm hesitant to read this only because it is a YA contemporary and I have kind of moved away from that. However, I am definitely going to give it a chance and see if I like it or and see if I even make it through it. The next book that I'm going to talk about is one from my favorite series and I'm surprised I haven't read this one but I did try it a while ago and that is As Old As Time by Liz Braswell. This is part of the Twisted Tale. I recently got my own copy this past year. When I first started this book, it was very daunting to me because this one is kind of a hefty, hefty little chunker. Yeah, this isn't even 500 pages. But for me, when I tried to read this one the first time, I had a very hard time getting into it. It was a very slow moving beginning. So I'm kind of worried about this one. This one's twist is What If Belle's Mother Cursed the Beast. And so I'm looking forward to that. I think Liz Braswell will do a fantastic job. She's done a fantastic job of the other Twisted Tales that I have read from her. And I'm hoping uh, this one will probably come up later in if I land on Disney on my board because I'm going in order of when the movies came out not when the books came out because I'm weird like that but anyways so that is As Old As Time by Liz Braswell. Next one I don't have a physical copy of but I do have an e-copy of and that is The Deal by L. Kennedy. Uh, this one I've like I said this one's been on my TBR for a very long time and this is a new adult hockey romance and I if it's got hockey in it and it's a romance I'm on board I will probably read it I'm not sure why I haven't read this one probably because I have it in e-form e and I'm not a huge fan of reading them on e-form because I don't have like a tablet to read on but that shouldn't stop me because I have my phone and I'm really looking forward to this one I've heard really good things about this one and I just I would really like to read this one sooner rather than later. So there's this one, the deal has been on my want to read list a couple years now that it's one of the books that I want to get to in that year and hopefully I will get to it in 2021. The next book is Warrior of the Wild, Trisha Levenseller. This one, I heard a lot of buzz when it first came out. Then I haven't really heard any buzz. Um, it was very much a mixed review when people when it first came out and then I heard that it was fantastic so I got this one from Book Outlet. The little blurb in it says how do you kill a god? As her father's chosen heir 18 year old Resmira has trained her whole life to become a warrior and lead her village but when her coming of age trial is sabotaged and she fall, fails the test her father banishes her to the monster-filled wilderness with an impossible quest to win back her throne, her honor. She must kill the oppressive god who claims tribute from the villages each year or die trying. And this is a standalone 
So I'm looking forward to that aspect of it because I have a ton of series that I need to finish this year. I'm hoping to get to, like I said, sooner rather than later. This is a standalone fantasy and it doesn't seem like it's that long. Yeah, it's just over 300 pages. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one. The next book on this list is Roar Korak Harmek. And this one I have not heard anybody talk about. I mean, I've heard a few people talk about this, but not your main big ones. This one has intrigued me for a very long time. Uh, it says, challenge a tempest, survive it, and become, and you become its master. The cover is amazing. This has been on my TBR for a while now, and I just really want to get to this one. This is... There's only two books out in this series. I don't know if there's more, but I haven't really looked into the second book because I want to read this one and see if I actually like it. This one, uh, like I said, I'm hoping to get to. So if fantasy comes up, hopefully you'll be seeing this one soon. The next one should be no surprise because if you've watched my series I need to finish, that is The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. This one is part of once Upon a Con. This is the second book. The first one was a Cinderella retelling. I think this one is like a princess and the pauper type retelling. I'm looking forward to this one and I really enjoyed my time with Geekerella because Cinderella is one of my favorite stories and so I'm looking forward to this one. I had a lot of fun reading Geekerella and I'm hoping to get to this one soon. The next one is Catching Jordan by Miranda Kennelly. This one I know there is a, a girl she plays football and then this new quarterback comes in and he is hot stuff and she is hot for him. That's pretty much all I needed to know about this one before I wanted to read it. You cannot really find these ones where I am without ordering them, but I somehow found this one at our local secondhand store last stop. I've talked about them before. I'll link them down below. They're fantastic. They ship. Looking forward to this one. I kind of like this one of the boys or pretending to be a boy type trope and so I'm looking forward to reading this one. I'm not sure when I will get to it, but hopefully I'll be able to fit it in somewhere. The next one, I haven't really heard much about it, and I don't really remember what it's about, but it is Romancing the Throne. This is by Nadine Jolie Courtney. Uh, the little blurb inside says, For the first time, the Weston sisters are at the same boarding school. After an administration scandal at Libby's all-girls school threatens her chances at a top university, she decides to join Charlotte at posh and picturesque Sussex Park. Social climbing Charlotte considers it her sisterly duty to bring Libby into her circle. Brit Britain's young elite's glamorous teens who vacation in Hong Kong and the south of France and are just as comfortable at a polo match as they are at a party. Seems like two sisters fall for a prince and there's drama after that. This has been on there for the longest. I don't even remember where I heard this one from, but you know, two sisters, one prince, one royal heartbreak. We'll see how this one goes. I, I don't know, this stack is getting like sadder and sadder Another one that has been on my TBR for a very long time, and this I don't even remember, but it's called Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren. I know this is one of Christina Lauren's older series, and I read Rumi's and really, really enjoyed Christina Lauren's writing, and so I picked up this one, and I haven't read it, and I've had this for almost three years. I don't know what's stopping me, from reading this one. I love Christina Lauren, so there's really no excuse for why I haven't picked this one up yet. And I believe is a office romance. An intern and an, a businessman. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. The next one is also a Christina Lauren and I don't know if I should be able to call myself a Christina Lauren fan because I haven't read 
these two books and they're a backlist. Uh, this one is Dirty Rowdy Thing. This is the second one in the Wild series. This follows uh, after Sweet Filthy Boy. This is about the three friends who get drunk and then marry three friends. Yeah, they get married in Vegas and he is a Canadian fisherman. Sounds like fun times. Yep, that's it. Those are the 10 books that I want to read from my backlist TBR this year that I own. That should be fun because they're there's a good mixture of like fantasy and romance and young adult. So we'll really kind of hone in and see if I actually continue to like young adult or if it's just certain authors that I like. We'll see how that goes. I'm really looking forward to getting some of these done and read because they've been sitting on my shelf staring at me for quite a while now. And I want to get them read because that is my main objective this year is to get a majority of my books on my shelf read before I can go out and buy new ones. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the website down below where you can find out anything and everything Average Joes, which will take you to all of our social media accounts. And don't forget to check out Joe and Tom over on the Average Joe podcast where you they will definitely brighten your day and make you laugh and you can find out more about games that are coming out and what arrived in the game room. And I will see you in the next one.